Welcome to the Knitting at the Seaside podcast and me, Brit Strickenheit. Vår välkomna till The Knitting at the Seaside podcast and me Brit Knit Nerd you can call me in English but in Norway Norwegian I call myself Brit Strickenerd and if you will find me in the social medias is always with this name Brit Strickenerd I write it down here there you will find me in Instagram and in the Ravelry and also I have a group in Facebook that's not so much in use but Instagram and YouTube and uh, Reverie, my name is Brit Strickenard. If you will uh, find me, the other place and YouTube, yes. And now it's time to uh, shoot out <laughs> a new uh, knitting podcast with this English speaking. And I have to excuse my Norwegian English. Uh, I not uh, want no, no, I'm not used to uh, speak it so often. And now it's a long time since we have this uh, English speaking uh, podcast so I am a little bit rusty I feel feel a little bit rusty yes but I do my best and I hope uh, you will understand my babbling of my knitting life and my knitting happiness and my yarn a love of yarn <laughs> that is the most uh, it will be uh, is in this uh, episode and in this podcast also. So if you are new, heart warm welcome. And if you have been in before, thank you for joining me. It's so I be so happy that you will come back and take a little sit and perhaps a cup of tea that I also bring with me. Yes. So let's starting. What has happening the last uh, month? I think the the last episode was in the end of the October. I not have knit so much since uh, this episode, but um, I am doing much in the knitting life that I have done. In November, my uh, this I uh, have a lot of a job with the organized a lot of Christmas calendar that has swept around the whole world. Uh, also to uh, three here that uh, has a long it, it has been looking at me in this uh, podcast i i it was Anne in the Sockestash and it was Susan in the wild in Ireland we swept a uh, uh, christmas calendar with uh, four gifts uh, it's every advent sunday and a christmas gift Oh, it was so nice and so fun and I get so wonderful things. And I also swept with uh, a friend in Österrike, Austri, 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 I think, yes, <laughs> that called knitting uh, on my mind, Ida. Uh, but she is also talking uh, Swedish and we, I can talk Norwegian to her and she can talk Swedish to me. Uh, but she also have a podcast in English. Uh, she often do the in the same episode she first talking in sweden and then she uh, do it uh, in the between in in the fourth settle said i don't know what uh, the word word but she do the same in the same episode first in uh, sweden and then in english if you want to look up uh, ida knitting on my mind 
So, and I am, I have swapped with a lot of Norwegian friends. So I have a lot of Christmas calendar in December and a lot of joy in this uh, month of uh, Christmas. Yes. But uh, here in, uh, because of this uh, podcast, I uh, swept with uh, friends that have seen and look at me here. And I'm so happy that we could do that. Yes. And I will speak about uh, what I have got in the in the end of this episode, I think. Yes, because, because first we have to talk about uh, some knitting, I think. Yes. And in December, I also do something else in the podcast live. I make a December moods uh, vlog. And uh, it was uh, difficult for me to do it in English, so it only be in, in Norwegian. But uh, in this episode, I uh, talk about uh, Christmas songs from Norway and uh, some uh, stories that I have uh, memories from back in my childhood and to, from to these days that I yes mix with these Christmas songs that uh, and, and the Christmas song is often songs that I have been very uh, yes fond of in my life to sing and to hear so I share all of that in this December moods vlog so, not so much knitting but a lot of talking <laughs> and uh, talking in English uh, with uh, explain all this uh, feeling about Christmas perhaps will be a little different <laughs> or difficult yes <laughs> so that it's only been in Norwegian but something else happening uh, in uh, November uh, I suddenly design a Christmas hat Perhaps some of you has already seen it in Instagram or uh, Revely also, because every uh, December I have been uh, along joining uh, knitting along in Instagram uh, to a friend called the Handmade by Mona. She in seven years has uh, make a Christmas hat, and then we get. Uh, two three rows every day in December to Christmas with a little uh, in in this pattern to be a Christmas hat. So I asked her in November, oh, I'm looking so forward to join in your Christmas hat along. And uh, what have you? Are you in? Have you some plans? And she said no. She have no opportunity to do this uh, this year. Oh, I've been so sad because I'm so uh, happy to do this every Christmas, every December. And um, when I got to here at home, I'm thinking, perhaps I shall do it. Perhaps I shall make a Christmas hat and make this uh, Christmas calendar in Instagram with this little few rows every day. Perhaps I can make it, try, yes. And that I do. And uh, I be so uh, yes happy or uh, for uh, um, oh I have my little uh, make, make satisfied yes oh thank don't remember this word I was so satisfied to to make this hat and what the result be to this Christmas hat and uh, I by I been uh, uh, I, I took a Christmas song that I was very fond of that called in Norwegian uh, the Har ei rose sprunge. In English it called uh, I have to see it. How a rose are blooming or in the German that is the song come from Es ist a rose ansprungen. Yes. So that is a very old, old uh, Christmas song and it is now all over the world. And uh, when I decided to design it, so I will have this rose, of course. And when you uh, sing this uh, of Jesseline age coming, I will make a Latvisk uh, cope, yes. And because you see amid the cold of winter, I want to have this star at the top of the hat. So, 
here it comes if you not have seen it before and I have made a lot of it <laughs> and here is a very Christmas uh, color this red one and here you see this rose and here you see this Latvisk cow and here is the star and I so satisfied with this star and this uh, among to decrease up to the top it was it was so good <laughs> say it with myself so that made me so happy all the December but I don't uh, think that it should be so popular but it was it was a very popular uh, hat and many many belong to knit it in the December and a lot of uh, Swedish knitters uh, come along and uh, others in other country try in their best to try to uh, understand my Norwegian and the pattern and a lot of them have knit already this hat and now I have uh, write it down and take it out in the Revely that you can buy it when you go into the Revely you can see Jule Roselua it's called and uh, a lot of others uh, um, podcast but uh, I will say Ina, Ina Nitz have talked about it and uh, a Swedish uh, uh, podcaster called uh, Ingrid in oh what what is their podcast I, I write it down here because my brain not uh, remember it just now yes a lot of have talked about it and so it's so many that have knit this joy of my my knitting my Christmas hat and I so satisfied and so happy to uh, ma manage maybe manage to make it yes so this is my first design in the reverie I have designed something else uh, to myself but this is the first design I have giving out so I am so uh, exciting <laughs> to do that and it's so happy that it's so many that have track, uh, uh, put, uh, put on the button and uh, take us this heart and I almost got 600 heart on every on this hat oh yes it's made me very very yes uh, I went I don't uh, know the good uh, word for to explain how happy I am so here is all my hat because it take a time to get in uh, and decide uh, so it could be and I I have a little difficult with this uh, decrease on uh, to make this star it was very difficult so I have many many examples before I landed it and take a, this is okay so um, I have hats in is this deco John you use and I use uh, in the first example I use uh, Pergint because I have a lot of that in my stash and so I use a Lima from Drops uh, that this was a very Christmas color uh, hat and so it was very important for me that you could knit this hat in my wheel ull yarn I have a, a sheep here in uh, my farm that called wheel sewer uh, wheel sheep white sheep that has this uh, is a very old Norwegian race that uh, we try to make yarn of to collect and make yarn of and uh, here you have this gray with this uh, white nature yarn of my sheep and that make me happy to make a hat with this yarn and I also make um, similar with a color that I get from the spinnery the, sp the selb spinnery that uh, make my yarn they also color some uh, other will sell uh, yarn in fantastic beautiful color that I buy when I bring on my yarn this summer and uh, the white one is from my sheep so that was very important that you can use my uh, own yarn and uh, I can bring it out to other that have bought my yarn so if you are a patron there will uh, be a free uh, pattern on this 
Jule Rose Lua or Christmas Rose Hat, the Christmas Rose Hat. It will come in English, but it's not come yet. I have to have a little help with a good English teacher that has made a lot of English pattern on the Ravelry before. And I shall meet her uh, next week, and in this week, uh, on the place called Fortuna in Lecken. This is a little uh, yarn shop there lay in uh, nowhere place <laughs> there you can there not, almost no one uh, live but there you have this fantastic beautiful uh, yarn shop and uh, they have this winter festival that we can uh, come along uh, knitters and be together to knit and there Tune Cecilia in TC knit shall come and she is uh, a very good uh, uh, pattern describer and uh, can this in English so I shall get a little help and you hear that I need that <laughs> so be uh, patient it will come in English in February but it is in the shop so perhaps you can already buy it and uh, try and perhaps you will understand some of the Norwegian uh, knitting language I think you can go in the big Google and try to translate it and uh, perhaps you can al already start to knit it because it is a chart on this and there's a new chart on this decrease of this uh, star on the top. Oh, so that was the most exciting that happening in November and December that I make this uh, uh, hat and I make a calendar knit along on Instagram. So every day I lay out this picture of uh, what you shall uh, knit this in this day and a picture how long I have come with my hat. So yes, you will, could see what could you do and some and that I told you many many join this knitting along and many many that not uh, is so familiar with this knit. so this knit along on uh, on the social media uh, many of the knitting here uh, here in this island Freya uh, will um, join in this knit along and that made me also so happy so yes love of happiness in this two months and other things I knit in November, it was not very big things, but uh, very small things that I sent with this uh, calendar swap I do in the whole world. A lot of dish clothes and a lot of Christmas uh, balls from Arne and Carlos were some small gifts that I have in this Christmas calendar and I send around. Yes. So I don't uh, show it to you here. You can go on my Reverie page and uh, if you want some uh, inspiration to see what I need of Christmas balls and dish clothes. But one thing I want to show you so I need uh, finish before Christmas has with a Christmas calendar and that I get in uh, got in uh, 2022 with the knitting on my mind either. We have uh, challenge uh, uh, each other to knit uh, something together and one of the things she gave me to challenge was this hat that is called uh, Favorki of Agatha Smektala. It's a beautiful cable uh, hat and it's free. It's free on Reverie. It's amazing uh, with all this work she has done to make this pattern. And I know it is a lot of work to make pattern that I will learn in this uh, month of uh, working with my Yule Rosa hat. Yeah. So I am so impressed. And it was so fun to knit. Uh, but I have to have a little... Uh, no, shall we look at this? Uh, yes. Uh, I think it's... Uh, Oops, <laughs> a little uh, patient. It was called pay, pay, tange, patient. Shall we have to uh, listen? I, I don't listen. But it, I have explained before. It, uh, it is these words have a difference meaning <laughs> in in different uh, words. Yes, patient, patient. Yes, <laughs> it's yes. It have to have a lot of patience, patience <laughs> to knit this hat in this cable. But I have done it and I done it before December. So I could be finished with the, the knit along we have 
last year before perhaps I should start on something new. And it is a big hat. You can fix it like this. And I have used it a lot in the in the, the winter month in here in Freo. We have uh, have to have these warm hats in this windy uh, landscape we live in. So that was a thing I watched. So it was a little more than a dish clothes and the Christmas uh, balls. Yes, but, but because of all my work that has a Christmas calendar in November and December, it um, get a lot of things uh, that uh, will be unfinished project, an UFO. So in uh, the year of 2024, I bring with me 20 UFO. Yes, unfin unfinished project. And uh, that is a lot. And uh, now in uh, Norwe Norway's podcast life, in, I mean, my regular group in Norwegian, I have the last six, six and, or six years, yeah, I think, have this uh, knit along where you can knit all of you UFO from uh, January to Mars. And I have a big uh, giveaway prizes uh, to all that can, uh, could be finished. So I draw it to all of this. They then lay uh, in this uh, project groups, all the Finnish uh, project of UFO. Yes. So um, I hope uh, myself uh, to uh, got, get finished with a um, lot of them. But uh, in this year, I get a little better. Yes, I think so, because I also frogged something. And uh, that I never do before, but uh, I uh, feel a little uh, more adult <laughs> when I do that. And three of my projects I've frogged, actually, yes. And uh, that gave me some uh, peace, yes, that I managed to do that. But it's a lot of, to knit uh, again. Uh, I have a 17 UFO again, and a lot of them is a big project, but I do already five small projects and perhaps they also have almost finished in January. The first of the project I have done in UFOs, my UFOs, <laughs> is this uh, Christmas mittens. Every year I also is uh, joining a Christmas uh, along, Christmas mittens along in Facebook from a Norwegian designer called Judith Lindvik. She makes these beautiful mittens or others uh, design also. But every year she makes a new Christmas mittens that uh, she had this special knit along in Facebook. And this is uh, inspired by Lucia Cakes from, you know, this from Sweden that they make in, uh, in the Lucia day. And you see is this board here. Yes. And uh, I that was very fun to knit, but I don't do it uh, to knit in this day to day. You should be finished. So it uh, had to be with me in 2024. But I was finished almost uh, in the first or second of January, I think. So it was Christmas Day uh, yet <laughs> when I was finished. So I am very satisfied with this Christmas uh, mittens and perhaps... It shall be a Christmas present for this Christmas 2024. It, uh, my, it's a good thing that you can get finished with something in good times, with before Christmas, you know. Yes. And so it was. I was almost finished with this also in uh, in December. But this little uh, hand writes, I think it's called wrist hand writes writes. Yes. Is uh, is called uh, f uh, after the designer Gunnis uh, Pulswante. It's a easy little lace here, you see, and uh, I make it is in thin pegint. It's a wool yarn, and I want to have this uh, also at, at, as as a indoors uh, warm roasters because sometimes. It's a little cold inside, and that is a good thing to have this uh, warm uh, 
hand wristers to warm your hands when you knit because and perhaps because I live in a very old house and when it's uh, blowing out there were windy days it's blow through the old house <laughs> oh, it's not so uh, hard but uh, but you you will uh, feel it yes it's more cold in the house and some room is more colder than another uh, room here so I often use this with if it's very cold and windy outside so this is a good thing to be finished with and so before Christmas I need a lot of these um, pot holders in thick cotton jars, uh, jars, good cotton jars. Uh, and it's a free pattern from Sunness called uh, Domino, Domini pot holders, I think. And it's very easy. It's a Domini uh, technique, you see. And you have this decrease with, uh, uh, I think it's called 2PSSO. I shall write it all down here. So it's very easy. You start with uh, some, I think I start with the fem 55 uh, mask and this guy's in the middle, all the way up. And uh, this I had uh, knit with a Rauma cotton jar called Sumatra, I think, yes. And I bought it when I was visiting uh, Rauma in October, yes. So... This was the uh, last one, but not finished this Christmas, but can be a gift in uh, the Christmas 2024. So that else is a good thing to be finished with. And the, yeah, in Christmas, before Christmas, I also be finished with this weekend hat. And my son Sigurd get it in this uh, as a Christmas present. And all my boys, boys think this hat was so good. They want it all, all wanted to next Christmas. So I am uh, planned to knit uh, seven more of this. Yes. And Sigur uh, shall uh, get one in uh, Villul instead of this in Pergint. And the weekend hat is a uh, design from Petit Knit. And it will be, and then uh, it is very warm here in this, uh, this Kent, this, this breeze. I don't know what we can call it. But uh, because it's a uh, three double yes you have it's a long 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 it's, it can look like a neck and i don't have uh, to cut the yarn yet and you take it one time and you take it two times and then it's get three double and it's very very warm around your head and ear so I started uh, in uh, Christmas Day to knit in, in this willow and I was not finished before the 24. So now I got finished with this willow hat that Sigur shall get uh, before Christmas. Because he shall perhaps take it with him when he is uh, traveling to Svalbard and shall go to a special school uh, that is in Svalbard called Folkehögskole. Uh, that is for uh, the young people that uh, they not have uh, exams this uh, year. They only only get to go to uh, study that they most uh, is interested in. And uh, Sigur shall uh, perhaps study more on this uh, science. Yes, he is very very fond of this and energy and uh, the nature. And, yes, so perhaps. If he's lucky, he came into this school in Svalbard. That is very, very exciting. So then he uh, then he has need to have a lot of warm clothes because it's uh, um, almost in the North Pole. <laughs> Svalbard is a very long north and it's very more cold there and uh, in the here in Freya. So then he need a lot of uh, knitting warm clothes from his mother. Yes. So I have uh, lots of plans to knit uh, jumpers or hat and the mittens that he can bring with this. him. Yes. But now I have knitting two weekend hats and I have six left to be finished with before Christmas. So a lot to do. But this I I think it's a good uh, knitting to take with you when you drive the bus and have to wait in the hospital because I am a little... Uh, time in the 
the hospital to check out my health in these days. It's not a serious thing, but uh, I have to go through that. So, so it is. And then it is a little waiting time and that it's a very good thing to have with you this uh, hat. This, uh, you, think, you have no need to thinking. <laughs> Only knit. Yes, and that is a good thing. And I also get finished with a pair of uh, thick socks for uh, Ola. Ola uh, always wish uh, thick socks. And uh, the last year he only got one pair. So this year I uh, challenged to knit at least 12 pair to him because I see the uh, he has uh, not so many left in his uh, garderobe. So now uh, the wife have to knit a lot of socks that she, he can get now in this year. So at least 12 and here it uh, it won. And it was a UFO. I start uh, this at uh, February 23, and now it's uh, at last finish. And this is knitting in the Islandsk uh, uh, wool called Hossoband. East uh, so uh, had this uh, wool. Is uh, is the same of Latlupi Alafos, and they also have this sock yarn. It's a very thick and hard uh, sock yarn, I think, but. Ola loves it because uh, hi, he loves to have wool in his uh, boots and he only juice uh, thick rags. All, um, about the summer or the winter, he used his sock, thick socks. So I have to go on and knit a lot of them because he not have so many uh, left in his sock uh, bag, I see. And therefore... I also have one more finish, but that is uh, one of the next thing I shall talk about because now I talk about all my UFO and uh, that I am uh, knitting on. I also have something on my needles that is UFO, so I will show you um, because uh, I also have some big project that <laughs> have to be finished soon. And uh, something that I have knitting, I uh, cast on in uh, 22, is a vest called Signes vest. And it's a Norwegian designer called Signe. No, <laughs> she is not called Signe. She is called Helle Signes Rud. And this uh, pattern you also find in English uh, on uh, Ravelry. And look at this. Isn't nice? Oh, she makes so pretty design, and and this design reminds me of this folk tract in uh, Nor Norway we call Buna, and uh, this uh, remember me much of this Trønder Buna that uh, many of the people around me uh, have. I don't have a Trønder Buna. I have something called Rumstars Buna, but uh, this is very very familiar with this Trønder Buna. And uh, when I started, I have only get one of this board, and now I finished with two. And here I get some uh, difficulty because I have to knit this uh, uh, stranded pattern uh, on the wrong side. When you get up here and shall get the last the, uh, the end of the vest, you have to uh, split it and knit each other. Uh, for its for itself, and then I have to knit this uh, this uh, two stranded uh, pattern on the wrong side, and then I never done before, so I am a little afraid of that. <laughs> but we have to try. We have been knitting for so many years now, so you don't have to be afraid of try something new. So I shall challenge myself in this. And uh, now I have uh, left to knit uh, two of this border, I think. And then I shall split it and knit each other for itself. So that was very exciting. I hope to get finished when I see you the next time. <laughs> so this, that, that is a little big project and a little more difficult project and that I have now show you. And... Uh, because this is a little difficult, I have to have some easy one uh, beside. 
And uh, then I need some felted uh, mittens that I have not come very long in. I only cast on, I think. Because when I shall uh, should visit my mother this Christmas, she want me to knit some um, felted midget to a man who uh, always uh, help her to take away the snow uh, outside the door for her. And uh, he uh, wish uh, himself a felted mitten from me. And I come uh, that I haven't done that before I travel to my mother. So I cast on in the hurry. Uh, but suddenly I uh, remember that I perhaps in my uh, Finnish uh, box that I have a lot of Finnish uh, knitting, I have some big uh, mittens that I have knit for a long time. So we'll pass this man. So he get them instead and I could uh, take away my uh, my new project and wait now to now to knit it. Because my man, Ola, also wish a uh, felted uh, big mitten. So this will be for him. And uh, I have to knit it now because it now it's winter in Norway. He will not need it in the summertime. So I have to take... Uh, Focus on this no in, in the time first time, and I also take uh, a pair of uh, socks uh, that lay in this ofo box for me, and that that is uh, a pair of socks that I have uh, started on in October when Sophia Carlson, Sophia Tails have this knit along on Facebook. Uh, and uh, will then that she learn us uh, to knit a little uh, easy uh, socks and my challenge is to knit it with this magic loop two at times that I never done before but I I, mean, I fix it <laughs> I fix it it's rather good yes but uh, now I'm finished with this uh, flap and uh, I think it's uh, time to get to the end yes so that is my focus in OFO in these days so uh, when we meet uh, next time before uh, that we can see uh, how long I come or if I've been finished yes that's the, the exciting thing to see <laughs> oh a little tea and this teacup I get from knitting on my mind Ida in this Christmas calendar oh it was so funny it's, I get so many nice things of so lucky, lucky me. And now we go to the next thing. Because uh, uh, in this last year, I have this knit along with Venke Roal. And some of you have also uh, joined this knit along with uh, a, a knitting of Vilfreda. And it's a Vilfreda I have on me. It's Vilfreda uh, knitting in uh, Hildesvog John from uh, Sölje. And uh, uh, one more hair from Gardsur, yes. That was the first Vilfreda I knit. And it's a little more summer tea uh, knit, uh, Vilfreda, I will say. And I also knit a Vilfreda in uh, my Villul yarn. And then I have that, that jumper. I use it so often. It's so good. It's so warm. It's so cozy. I love it. It It is the knitting project I'm most uh, satisfied with in uh, 2023, I will say. It, well, it also the most I use every day, or, <laughs> not every day, but very often I take this on me. So uh, that I done in Venke Roal and in the Norwegian uh, knit along, they could knit whatever they want of uh, Venke Roal. And uh, I also challenged myself to knit something more from her. And in the last episode, I show you this Sorgenfri that I have knit also from Hillesvog yarn called Embla. It's a very easy uh, jumper. And uh, I think it is on English. Perhaps not. But uh, it's uh, almost like a petite knit uh, pattern, I think. But it's a little thick variant I have. I'm very satisfied with this too. And uh, I use it a lot in the Christmas because it was red. And I have knit this uh, little uh, children jumper also in Hillesvog. It's a lot of Hillesvog yarn I have used in this uh, Venkerual uh, knit along. 
And that uh, is a good thing. I love the Hilles Vog and I have beautiful, beautiful yarn. And this one is also knitting with this uh, Sölje. And I have knit uh, a pair of gloves, a pair of mittens. I, and this was also a knit along with Ida. Uh, we, that, uh, we also knit this... Uh, Favoriki, this uh, hat I show you, and I gave her, her this uh, knit along to knit this uh, Venke Rual in Christmas uh, mittens. And that is also very beautiful and fun to knit because of all this ornament is on this uh, mittens. It's like a knit a little picture when you knit this uh, Christmas uh, mittens from Venke Rual. So that uh, I recommend it. And it's knit with Rema Finul. That is my favorite yarn. I have to say that too. Also, Rema Finul is on the top, and then is Hillesvog. <laughs> so that was finished, and so I knit a little uh, scarf. It's a very easy, easy scarf, and this was the yarn I get in my Easter calendar. Oh yes, I also have Easter calendar, not only a Christmas calendar that I swapped with a Norwegian friend. And she has made this yarn herself, spill, spill, spin it, spin it, and uh, color it herself. So that is a amazing, fantastic rosa <laughs> pink in in English. Rosa in the Norwegian, pink in English. Yes, and uh, you of, often need a little short scarf, and it's it's not uh, the always the big one, but this is a very good little scarf scarf perhaps you say it in english and so i have knit two pair of socks this is a christmas socks <laughs> that was a christmas socks in 22 uh, in very bright uh, colors pink and uh, glittering red and this one is uh, called sharing sock i don't know uh, how to translate it in english but it's a Lady a uh, dame socks you perhaps can translate it, and this I have knit in a special yarn from fewer fibers, and now my dog is buffing and buffing because my son Sigur is coming home, <laughs> and that he hear it. <laughs> but that that was all, all I knit from uh, Venker Wall last year, and because. It was not so many of you that uh, lay in Finnish Wilfreda, but I hope some of you be, be been inspired to go and look for Venke Rual's design. She has a lot of uh, design in English, so it uh, could be many things you could knit. But three of you has uh, taken in a Wilfreda, and that is Susan in Wild in Ireland, it's a beautiful pink little uh, summer tea, uh, Wilfred, I will say. And so it's Sandra. You have made this one. And so it's Jackie. And because you all get in this uh, knit along, I will give you a little gift. And uh, that is a pattern from uh, Ravelry that you can use, choose, choose, yes, yourself. And uh, you can get that as a gift from me. So to you from me because you joined this little knit along and in the last episode I say if you comment under the episode you should get a little present for me a Christmas present I said but but uh, it was no uh, more uh, episode before Christmas so now you get a new year a present and then I draw a winner from, I use this uh, YouTube picker comment, and the winner was, I have to see, Nikki Beb 2040 I write it down here. And you shall get a little kit from uh, from Villeville to make yourself a Christmas hat. I don't know where you live, because perhaps you live in a very warm land and never have to use a wool hat. And perhaps you live in a more cold land and can use this Christmas hat. But you shall get a pattern and you shall get a yarn that you can knit this Christmas hat, a jule roselua from me. So, that was a little gift uh, today, and 
because I have some uh, gift uh, drawing I think uh, today and uh, I, I don't uh, shall draw some but I shall have a gift better yes I shall have a giveaway it's called yes I have a giveaway because in uh, Saturday I was uh, have birthday I was 58 years Happy, happy, and I also get over 2,000 followers here in this YouTube channel. Yes, it's happy, happy, and I have get this design on Reverie, my first design on Reverie, and this is also a celebrating. So, if you have, take some comments under this episode, I shall draw a winner the next episode. And... That I want to know about is, have you some OFO? And the next uh, knit along I shall have this year. And I all I are starting in the Norwegian uh, group, but I think we shall have one in uh, in our knitting at the seaside from group uh, that I also have in Ravri. That is for you English speaking people, uh, because in the Norwegian uh, group I have. A knit along with Skander, Eli Skander. And I think a lot of you perhaps is know about Eli Skander. She is a very popular YouTuber and very, very clever designer. And uh, I have uh, challenged myself to knit uh, a whole year a lot of things from uh, Eli. And uh, I want to bring you with me in this knit along. So I shall uh, take up this group and like uh, take a thread in uh, our Ravelry group knitting at the seaside farm that you can uh, be with me and knit a lot of Scandir and there is all in English so that is no difficulty for you to understand so um, I hope you will be with me to knit a lot of early and uh, then in this uh, giveaway in these comments, I also want to know if you what are you knitting in this uh, UFO, uh, if you have some UFO, and how many do you have? And I also want to know if you have knit uh, something of Skandir or have you some Skandir plans? I have uh, a plan of make nine with. Uh, with Skander. That is a very popular thing to do in the new year, make nines of 2024. And I have already started with two projects. And one of them is a little easy one, that is socks. Yes, and yet you have these socks <laughs> to Ola. I have knit one finish and now I started on one more, the next one. And this is called Lies Lies Baby. And it is fantastic with this uh, pattern is that it go from baby to big adult. It's a big size uh, to a big man's foot. <laughs> so you get it all. And you also get uh, the pattern in uh, from the top to the bottom or from toe and up. Yes. So uh, many, many maize and many, many different uh, uh, size to knit these socks. So I need the uh, one to uh, Ola. Lies, lies, baby. So it's this lies, lies down here, and now I shall stack, uh, take a flap, and so uh, in soon finish. It uh, also knit with this uh, deco jan called Perfect from Sunness. So this is a very f fast little project that I have. And so I have a little bigger one in this beautiful bag that I got in Christmas gift from my friend called Gun Irene Anglistik that has a Norwegian podcast and Ilo. If you look at Ilo podcast in Norwegian, she often talk about Gun Irene and her and she need a lot of uh, the beautiful design Gun Irene has to make. And I don't know what I, I say that, but... It is Gunnerian that has designed this uh, little cute uh, hand bracelets. Mm. Perhaps I forgot that. Yes. Oh, it's my brain. But here I started on something bigger uh, than uh, socks. I started on the uh, uh, jumper called Winterfjell. Yes. 
and that I need in Holtz yarn and that has been on my to-do list very very long over many many years and uh, it's so fun to knit in stranded uh, color two colors uh, and this shall be a Christmas uh, jumper for me this uh, Christmas uh, 2024 and uh, I have a good time to next Christmas but I want to finish it a little earlier, I think. So now I hope to uh, be finished with this uh, pattern, with, with the stranded uh, pattern. And uh, when you get finished with that in the top, it is only red out the bottom. Yes, and this is uh, easy knitting. And I hope to be finished with this first part uh, before I traveling to this uh, knitting week in uh, uh, on Fortuna this weekend so I can have this easy knitting with me when I knit only the red one in, in the bottom yes so I hope to get finished very soon but this lovely bag I have to sit back here oh. so I hope you also will uh, join me in uh, Skandir knit along and the other things that I have on my plan uh, I shall uh, take a little, uh, I, I shall talk about that uh, next time, I think. Yes. I, but I, I shall uh, take the picture and take it in the group. You can see there what my plan is to knit with Skander. So can you tell me about your plan, about in the group or in the comments under here? And I draw a winner next time, yes. Because we celebrate all this uh, happiness in the uh, my life that that I am been a birthday that the Totosen uh, follower and this design yes this is a celebrating uh, happiness big in this time so that was uh, the big big uh, knit along this year Scandir but uh, uh, I also get something in you I'll tell about because um, uh, I am Ola we have six children together and uh, now it's only the youngest one, the Sigurds, that uh, live here in this house. And uh, that means it's a lot of room be free. Yes. So uh, before Christmas, I uh, Sigurd moved to a bigger room and I get to uh, take over his room to have all my yarn in. So I have make myself a own yarn working room. That is amazing. And uh, now it's a big, big work to organize all the yarn and counting and uh, get known of my all my beautiful yarn that I have. And I have a lot. I have at least uh, 100 kilos. Mm -hmm. So I have, um, I can knit all my life and uh, never uh, be uh, empty of yarn, I think. So, but... But it's a very good thing to uh, go into the stash and have uh, knitting dreams and yes. So it takes a good time to organize it because when I see the yarn, I think, oh, what can I knit with this? Or what was I thinking when I bought this yarn? Yes. So many, many times to uh, get finished, I think. But I have started. Yes. And uh, that uh, also a lot of knitters in uh, the new year want to knit more from your stash. And that is uh, also a thing I have challenged this year, knit more from my stash. And uh, I have some, uh, as I told you, um, enough yarn to knit uh, from. And uh, I also want to knit more to use all the yarn, all the little things, little yarn I have. This. Uh, uh, leftover yarns you can tell it this uh, stash that you had the small balls of yarn and that I have challenged myself in these days and one thing uh, I use little balls of was this flying solo of a, a space trait tricot yeah I write it down here it is a neck very easy and here I use uh, two threads of uh, thin sock yarns and fade it up. Oh, it was so fun to make it and create a process itself. It was very easy. So this uh, is a warm, good uh, neck to have. And I knit it in gray and blue because I think then the boys also can use it here 
They don't uh, like uh, pink and red and orange, but uh, blue and gray, it is okay. So this is a, a, a neck all of us can use if we want. So that uh, like ready to use for all of the visitor, all of the living people here in the house, you can see, yes. Very easy. And here I can, here I get to use a lot of these small, small balls of uh, leftovers from soft yarns. That uh, was a good thing. And uh, a Norwegian designer called Bitta Mikkelborg, uh, she also had this knit along with uh, the leftover yarns. How, what can you knit? And she uh, have make an e-book on uh, Ravelry that uh, we can get a good idea to um, make up all our leftover yarns. And in the January, she have uh, make this design of these socks. And you see, the socks for Ola. So now I have finished two socks and I've started on the third one that is from Scandi. So no, here it's go. Also, uh, perhaps get finished with three socks in January. That uh, is a good hope for uh, me to be finished with tall 12 socks for Ola. Yes. So this is a Viking Spurzrag, it's called. And it's a sock yarn, little deco, 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 deco. <laughs> and uh, it's easy knitting, but uh, I have very many of these uh, one kinds of uh, balls of this uh, type of yarn, and uh, that it's match very good in stripes. Yes. And I also started with, uh, see, something else a bit of me uh, had in her Facebook group, she has in her Facebook group, called Bingo. I, I think it's called the same in English, Bingo. And then uh, you get this uh, paper with all this uh, root here, where the standing uh, challenger that you can uh, knit. Uh, knit a Christmas uh, present for a mother, knit a present for your father, uh, knit a, a pair of mittens that is uh, felted. Yes, and I uh, you shall only use the pattern from and the design of Pitta Mikkelborg. And uh, I have nine books from uh, her, so I have a lot of idea to use uh, use design from Pitta Mikkelborg. And I have started with the one in a book called Presents uh, Gifts. And here you have a, a wrist that I have combi with uh, a silk mohair ball I have left and a little sock yarn that I not, don't know where, who is uh, color it. It's a hand dyed yarn. I have most sure of that it's a hand dyed yarn. And this one I have used in my Wilfreda. Yes, it's a silk mohair from uh, one uh, Norwegian hand dyer called Hattestick. So now I am finished with one of these uh, wrist hand reach and uh, shall start with the next one. And this is a very fast knitting project and good and warm. And uh, also you can use uh, in indoors because you, as I told you before, with this, with the good things to have when you have this old cold house. <laughs> so. There is a lot of idea to use all this uh, stash and uh, leftover yarns that I have in my big, 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 big stash room. Yes, <laughs> our yarn room or yarn walking room that I love to call it. Yes. And it also uh, brings me to some books I have to bath because it it is fine to have some good idea to use all this uh, stash and uh, the leftover. And then I bought this line of uh, books called the 52 Weeks of Easy Knits. And here is a lot of combo with a uh, lot of threads and a lot of uh, big uh, big jumper. Or, yes, a lot of ideas. So I am recommend this, this book if you have a lot of uh, stash and a lot of leftover yarns that you don't know how to use. It's a many good idea in this book. And I also... Uh, we'll get a book called Stripes, 20 Stripes, also from Lena, that uh, also have many good ideas to uh, use up uh, all these stashes. Yes. 
So there you are. Yes, there is me in uh, in twenty twenty four. Yeah, you see, it's the sky in there. It's uh, now from to Mars. Then we get finished with the most of my UFO. Is um, this uh, challenger to knit a lot of uh, my yarn stash and a lot of this uh, leftover yarns to use it up all of it. Yes, that is that is twenty four for challenger. Yes, so. I hope you will uh, with, uh, be with me this year also and uh, in the end I will show you some of my Christmas calendars that I get. Yes, for I get a lot of. And one of them I have in this little box here. This is all this beautiful bright color is from Susan in wild uh, in Ireland we um, we swap this uh, calendar and I get a lot of uh, uh, wool good wool wool uh, yarn from special sheep in Ireland and it's uh, little bubbles that can go into my memory blankets and uh, some uh, knitting markers and a uh, uh, lot of tea and look at this Oh, I get two hanks of this fantastic purple yarn. Oh, I'm wondering what shall I make with this. Perhaps I have to make a ranunculus. Or perhaps I have to make a new Wilfreda with this glorious purple. It was so lovely. Thank you. Thank you, Susan. And it was so fun to sweat with you if you were looking at this episode. And it's a lot of goodies here. And uh, now I have to use my little brain to be a little creative, but to use all this uh, wonderful, special John balls that you have sent me. So that was from Susan. And so I get from uh, Anne in the, in the stage in USA, I think. And that was a... Uh, uh, present all over the amazing uh, greatest yes i thank you thank you thank you it was so many funny thing to find here um and i have not all with me but first you have to see of these fantastic angels that was on every packet each sunday and i can use it every year and this will remember me of you and that uh, have take this to me so every sunday i will uh, every sunday in the christmas i will hang up this angel in one and two and three yes it is the four sundays in advance so beautiful and so fun to get and uh, i get the uh, towels uh, oh i get this uh, funny little thing to bake a cake with yes and i get a big big Santa Claus cup and uh, three fantastic pattern on shawl that I have so uh, I could think uh, uh, to knit everyone yes and I get uh, of course yarn this yarn I never seen before I tried before so that I looking forward to begin with and I get this little, oh, and you see it's so cute. Ah, in this happy color, in this rainbow color. And here uh, lies the little balls that I can knit to myself, these uh, little jumpers to hang up. Not next Christmas, in this little cozy, cozy, yes. That I think you have see, uh, saw, see, saw, see, saw yourself, yes. And I get all something else she has also So Look at this. And look at this. And she has uh, found out that I as is very, very fond of the rainbow colors. Oh, I'm so grateful and for your fantastic advent calendar that I got for you from you and in this that was this Christmas gift 
is also where two hanks of fantastic yarn. Look at this. Oh, and yes, I only want to lay down and cozy with all of this. It's so fantastic, beautiful. And angels, and I got angel before that is uh, now packed on for the next Christmas. Yes, a lot of things. And uh, it's so fun to swap Christmas calendar with people not from uh, only from Norway but in the other countries so I hope we can uh, get the tradition of swap, uh, Christmas swapping in this candle also and I uh, used to take this in this group so be with me you join in this knitting at the seaside farm group in Reverie and uh, there we try to make uh, I try to make happy things uh, happening there no it's kind of knit along and before Christmas perhaps we can swap uh, Christmas calendars yes so be with me and uh, one of you was so lucky to won uh, a Christmas calendar from me. That was uh, Cadets in Canada, Crafty Tea Life. And it was so fun to make a whole Christmas calendar for you. And it was very exciting to uh, if we get uh, uh, to Canada in time. <sighs> and it, it, do, it came almost the day before 1st of December, I think, yes. And you... Uh, send a Christmas gift back to me that you not have to do but it was so fun that you think that you will do that for me and I get this cute little Christmas gift many uh, little Christmas gift I gave you get and she has made this funny little oh, it is the cutest thing and look at this happiness <laughs> Oh, it was so nice you had crochets, I think. And that's, I shall take for, uh, and get in this, uh, my book, uh, Rio, <laughs> to have these colorful things. And I get a lot of tea. I get that from everyone. And I get this special yarn, also purple, and a special sock yarn with. Yeah, she has done so beautiful work with uh, these little gifts that she has sent me for Christmas gift. So thank you, Kades, with you, if you are looking uh, at me now. It was so, so grateful. And I get a lot of other Christmas gifts also from, and Christmas calendar from many from Norway, but I only will show you this from, these two from Anne and Susan, and also this from Kedais, yes. So thank you, thank you very much, all of you. And uh, perhaps some else will join us for the next uh, Christmas calendar swap, if we shall still do it. I, I hope so. It was very funny. And it, the, yes, yes, we hope so. <laughs> but it's a long, long time to Christmas now, so we don't uh, t uh, need to take uh, shows just no, no. <laughs> oh, and now I have babbling in this English very long, and this has been a very long episode. And uh, yes, if you have had this passion to listen to me, I am grateful. But uh, now I think it's time to see goodbye, and uh, we'll meet again. And to uh, it's the uh, we meet. Have a happy knitting life where you are in these days. Goodbye.